Okay, so I got a whole bunch of um, bulkhead flats, and they're, um, I think they're Athern, probably one step above Blue Box, and they've got, uh, uh, they've got the uh, painted decks, and the first one's coming up here, and this is uh, right out of the box here, I haven't touched it at all, and I think I've got about nine of them, and so what I was doing, as I, I've said, I would uh, start painting the uh, wooden wooden decks um, so right here these are all wooden planks I'm assuming and they've all been painted the body color of the of the um, bulkhead flat and they kind of look a bit fake um, so the process I'm using actually is uh, I'm using acrylics and I've got a pewter color here that I'm putting on as a wash and so this next one here I think is um, I think that's a Proto 2000 actually, and it did have a bit of a darker color uh, um, on the deck. But uh, anyway, this is the uh, first coat I put on, and as anyone knows how to use acrylics, I guess it's just more along the lines of um, just getting a, a base coat down so everything else will stick. And I'll speed the train up here a bit, and then this guy here, this is representing the second coat of the same gray, just more of a wash. And then here we have another uh, CP one. And this one actually has the two coats of gray as a wash. And there's um, Windsor and Newton white oil um, dry brushed onto that to give some of the planks a bit of a highlight. And then this next one here has the two coats of gray um, with the Windsor & Newton white oils and then a buff color mixed in there as well. And that's all just kind of applied as a dry brush. And then another Proto 2000 here. This one's had the same treatment, but I've painted some of the boards as they've been replaced. Um, so obviously the, uh, the tan color wood is the newer stuff and the gray is the more sun bleached. And then as a final one here, we got the TTX one that I've done none of these are actually really done but um, yeah so this one has a bit of um, all the rest of the stuff on there plus it's got the um, the wash uh, I made a panel line wash thing out of um, just actually water and black um, acrylic paint uh, just to highlight the um, boards individual boards so that's kind of wash goes in all the cracks and then I followed that up with some um, chalks or sorry uh, powders and stuff um, worked that in there weathering powders bragged in weathering powders anyway so um, this is the intro and I'm gonna I'm gonna follow up with a bit of uh, how I do it one by one so uh, next uh, next scene I'll, I'll get into the painting okay after that introduction I guess I'll show you step one so this right here is an untouched or unpainted I think it's an ather and ready to run. I've done a little bit of detailing on the ends. Um, still not done with the grabs on the side here, but I'm gonna paint. I'm gonna show you how to paint the um, first coat on here. So what I'm using is everybody's favorite apple barrel pewter gray, and that just gives me a. And this one is gonna be a kind of a wet coat just to get the uh, acrylic sticking on the um, on the surface, give it a good base for the next coat a bit thicker. Anyway, squeeze a bit on there. And I'm using a wide brush and trying to paint all the way across. And you can still see the red and you will still see the red, possibly three coats to get this one covered up. But that's okay. It doesn't take very long. I think I'm going to turn the light on actually. Just a second. That's better. It is nice light. The sun is setting or will be setting soon. It's always nice light to paint by. And we'll just get this first coat on here. Need a bit more, I think. more in there 
And once you've done the tops, you should be sure to get to both sides as well. And there's not much on the sides, but it does make a difference. And I don't know how people do this with the camera in front of them, but <laughs> we'll give it our best shot. Okay. Try and make it as even as possible. Use water to thin it out to get it as even as you can. But don't worry about this first coat too much because the second and third coat will pretty much cover up any mistakes you make or any unevenness. Okay, so I'm happy with that. And the sides I'm talking about, um, just right here, actually. So it doesn't take much. Just do each end of the boards. That side. All right, I'll flip it around, try not to touch the paint. Just a slight touch on there. Okay, step one complete. Okay, so after you've completed a few coats of that uh, pewter gray, your bulkhead flat should look a little bit like this. Okay, nice solid, good base for everything else. So the next step I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a little bit of zinc white, and this is the water saw, water mixable oil from Windsor & Newton. And you don't need much, because this stuff goes a long way, I'd say that's plenty. And I'll just put it on my palette here. And this is kind of a dry brushing technique, so you kind of want to get most of it off. And I'm just going to follow the boards here. So I'm not going to do every board. And I'm going to use my finger to smear it a bit. And it's kind of hard to do being on the camera, but basically just spread the paint around and give some of the boards a little bit of highlighting and you don't have to do every board and you can do single board or a group of boards whatever you wish it might be uh, more evident on the edges given that the loads are usually in the center so more sun bleaching would kind of happen on the edges and i'm going to smear with my finger Or a q-tip actually we could use that too and it doesn't even matter if it's a dirty q-tip the more color the better actually and this is not your final coat anyway so don't worry too much about it this is a highlighting coat so some of the highlights will show through eventually uh, Just keep going until you like what you see. And this brush will also mimic the um, the wood grain in the in the boards as well, so that's good. Uh, obviously, you're going to go with the grain and not against it. So your brush strokes are in this direction. Don't go sideways. Okay, I think I like that. So here's one I did before. And that's uh, basically the three coats of uh, pewter gray plus the kind of white dry brushing with the uh, oil. And this one's dry. So that's what it looks like. Okay. And so we'll move on to the next step. Okay, so the next step, uh, once our white uh, oil-based paint is dry, um, we're going to move on to Country Twill, or Buff. Um, this, is, again, is just another acrylic paint. It's uh, flat, so it's not going to shine. And I can't remember where I bought that, but it was cheap. So again, same technique, load your brush up, get some paint in the brush, 
and then wipe it off. And we're just going to add a bit more color. And then this is what we could, we could just add more color gradually, or we can actually mimic a new board. Um, I would use a bit of this yellow here if I was using a new board. And I also used, I think I used a bit of the uh, raw umber. So yellow, raw umber, and the buff to get the kind of new wood color. And maybe I'll do a board and show you guys. But uh, as I was doing this, I was actually thinking it's kind of similar to how you'd paint a railway tie if you wanted to show bleached railway ties. Kind of the same process, really. Just add whichever colors you think are going to be the most uh, potent. So I'll load up my brush again. And I'm not doing any not very much on here at all, really. And if I do, I just use my finger to burnish it down. This is just to add a bit of tone, tonal difference between the boards. A little bit of interest. So you get the idea there. Anyway, so now we've got three colors going on here. It's starting to look a uh, little, little bit more uh, natural, a little more realistic. So we'll pause there. Okay, so now we're gonna bring out our panel lines, or wood individual lines between the boards. And I'm gonna use a uh, pure black here. It's a matte finish, and I've just mixed it in the cap here with lots of water get it pretty runny. And what we're going to do here is um, we're going to wick it, let it wick in between all of the individual boards on here. So I'll just show you the technique. I won't do too many, but all you do is hold the brush right at the end here and let the paint wick down the line. And sometimes you can actually see the blob getting sucked into the uh, the blob of paint will get sucked in and it'll go halfway across or sometimes it'll even go all the way across and we'll get some more paint on here blob it in there you go that's a good one okay and then if there's any blobs left i just take my finger once and wipe it off and it's okay if there's a little bit of black smudge on there because uh, you know there's stains on these decks as well and so that's the one side and then what i'll do is i'll flip it over to the other side and do the same thing and these wick lines should meet in the middle somewhere and if they don't you can always wick in the middle too there they go so these ones didn't quite join up so I'll add some more paint to the middle here and let those lines wick across. Take my finger, wipe once. All right, and that's how you kind of highlight each individual board. And I'll just show you what I've done completely just to give you an idea of how it looks. All right, and I think this is the second to last step that I'm gonna do anyway. So that's just highlighting the boards. We've got our color on there. And then I'll move on to the next step, which is kind of final, final what I'm doing anyway, but uh, we can always add more. Okay, moving on to my final step anyway. Um, what we've got here, there's some Bragdon powders and we've got light, medium, dark, rust and soot and I guess you can know what I'm going to do. I've got my uh, super nasty brush here and I'm just going to start with the soot I guess and we're just going to imagine that there was a, uh, a spill in the corner. Maybe let's do a spill in the corner here. A 
Okay, and so that's just adding a bit of tone there. And if we really want to darken that up, we can, well, we can use some, we can use some glass black paint if we want to show like an oil slick or something. Or um, we can do more matte as well if we want to show something that's kind of soaked into the wood. And uh, what I might do on the other side here, as the bulkhead ends, I haven't done those, but they usually get pretty rusty. So I guess I would imagine that there'd be some rust accumulating right up against the bulkhead here on the boards. And so we'll just let that. We'll just show that as a highlight there. Why not? And I'll use some different rust tones here. I'll just put something here in the middle. And I'll use some more soot, actually. Spread that around. And actually, these ones, these ones don't have to be following the boards either because they're kind of representing stains that could happen on the deck at any point. So just another bit of tone to add, add some interest. And I'll show you one that I've done completely that I'm pretty happy with. And you get the idea there. I'm starting to add some different stains on the deck. And then, so here's one that I've done. And that one is uh, my TTX one. I've just started doing the, uh, the stirrups on here too. I replaced those because as you can see, the standard ones are pretty chunky. So I just nipped those off and replaced them with something else. Uh, yeah. So that's the final step in my um, painting my uh, boards on my bulkhead flats. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I, uh, I kind of enjoyed doing that. Uh, I've got about 10 of them to do, so I just keep doing them in different steps. And then I'm going to super detail the ends, um, but I'll show you those when I'm finished. Anyway, um, like and subscribe if you, if you like what you see, and uh, hope you have a good weekend. Thanks a lot. Good night.